flight is going to be the sum of all these ideas which will become real. So when Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first flight with an airplane, nobody thought an airplane could cross the Atlantic. And then Charles Lindbergh crossed the Atlantic, and nobody thought an airplane with 200 passengers could cross the Atlantic. And it was done. And then nobody thought we could go to the moon, and we went to the moon. And actually, it's exactly what we reproduce with solar impulse. An airplane that can fly day and night with no fuel, with a pilot on board, is something that seemed to be completely impossible a few years ago. Because the challenge is to fly during the day, store enough energy to be able to fly through the night, be still in the air the following morning with the possibility to continue flying many days, many, many nights. That was the, uh, the basic challenge we had. We will try to overfly Kitty Hawk. <laughs> it, will, it, would be, it would be a nice symbol. You know, the, the places where we will land between San Francisco, Washington and New York will depend on the weather uh, because the routes will be simulated by our computers, mm -hmm. integrating all the weather, uh, traffic control, uh, wind, sun and uh, terrain and so on and uh, the decision is made quite at the last moment. So maybe destiny will bring us over Kitty Hawk. <laughs> so we have the central part of the wing, you have a piece like this in the front, you can see a little bit the shape of the wing. So this is in carbon fibers, I'll let you see how much it's, well, be careful, it's heavy. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour le Maroc! Yeah.